Okay, so in order to do that, let me zoom out a little bit. And maybe I'll put the, the sheet over here. So the first one we're going to do was A prime intersect B prime intersect C. Okay, so... And this is the information that you know. Alright, so just looking at this information out of these probabilities here, these one, two, three, four, which are going to be useful in finding the individual sections, it looks like this one here is going to be what we are going to focus on because it it's the probability of C given A prime intersect B prime is 0 0.9. Okay. So we have P C given A prime intersect B prime is 0 0.9. All right. And now that we have this, what we need to do to find A prime intersect B prime intersect C would be to multiply this by the probability of A prime intersect B prime. Okay. So we need to multiply this by P of A prime intersect B prime. Um, and this will equal the probability of A prime intersect B prime intersect C. Okay, so you're saying we're going to take 90% multiplied by the probability of uh, A prime intersect B prime. Alright, so now we need to find A prime intersect B prime. Okay. Um, so let's see, we can look at probability of A is 0 0.3. All right, so the probability of that's going to be a is zero point three. Important. I'm just going to grab a pencil so I can write this and think. Then it's at one of these markers. Okay, so the probability of a is thirty percent. All right. Oh, uh, and then the other thing we'll need is this: the probability of b given a prime is zero point two. All right. Um, and we can use this because the only other possible outcome. Um, for this event A prime is B prime intersect, or B prime given A prime. All right. And that has to take up um, the other 0 0.8, with the eight, other 80% of the event A prime. Okay, so probability of B prime given A prime is 0 0.8. Okay, and that is water test does not detect pollution given that the river is not polluted. Okay. Okay. All right, that makes sense. So that would be a high number. All right. Um, and then for the same method, we can deduce that the probability of A prime is 0 0.7 because it also has to, it's the only other outcome for the event A. Okay. Is A prime. All right. Um, and so how we get A prime intersect B prime is multiplying these two probabilities. Um, so we get that the probability of A prime intersect B prime is 0 0.7 times 0 0.8, which is 0 0.56. Um, and now we just multiply 0 0.9 times 0 0.56. All right, I'm just grabbing my phone and bringing it over. All right, so I don't know what that number was, but we do 0.9 times 0 0.56. Is that on screen, by the way? Um, it is. All right, now we'll get 0 0.504, and that, in, in fact, is exactly the number we're looking for. Yes. Okay, so very good job. So you have calculated that um, in these sets, A prime intersect B prime intersect C is 504, so you get your number, and that agrees with the number in the Venn diagram. Yes. Okay, very good. All right, let's do the next calculation.